1996. They lived in the same neighborhood with many other chicks. She was eight, and at age 11, Daryl thought, I must wait. She's too young to be my mate. So one day at church, he saw her look at him. He got so nervous, he forgot the words to the hymn. Daryl said, this young love that I feel I must delay, so these feelings I must keep at bay. Fast forward seven years later to 2003, their secret crushes for each other is at a higher degree. Impatient for Daryl to come for her, Judy decided to stop him on friend's turf. But Daryl didn't come until she was 18 because he wanted his conscience clean. So, one day at her 18th debutant ball, he DJed the ball. And as soon as he saw her, he said a prayer to St. Paul. St. Paul, she is fine. Please let her be mine. He made a move and he, and he said, Hey you, wanna watch a scary movie? To which Judy replied, Whatever, you're so spooky. I have a boyfriend, but for you, I can go this weekend. With Daryl, her true love back, she picked up the slack and let go of the other bow like the melting of snow. To Daryl, Judy said, Hey, I like your style. It took you a while. But don't worry, you're not late because you had my heart since I was late. still a lot more to learn about ourselves but we already feel closer as a couple even though we have been married for seven years because we now know how to communicate well with each other I also feel closer to God I would not search for anyone else other than Daryl he is my other half the half that completes me the half that makes me feel whole, the half that I look for. Our trials and tribulations is what made us grow stronger as an individual and as a couple, but our love for one another grew even more, and I wouldn't want to change a thing. Oh, I know, no, no, where I want to be, wherever you Normal couples, 
we have our ups and downs. But with our time spent together, our candlelight is still strong. With our wedding coming up, our love for each other is still growing even stronger. I want to have God's blessing this time because I love my wife and kids so much that I want to spend the rest of my life with them. I want to grow with Judy and one day watch our kids have their own. to tell your mom and dad? I think I think that my mom is very, is very beautiful and my dad is really handsome. at church that they saw each other again and she's like hey I know that guy and they're all like yeah <laughs> and then after that the rest is history and we know that we've, they've been through a lot they had kids early on and I'm glad that they're living their dream now she got her degree through all our kids and hard work and Daryl is a good husband to her so I don't really have anything else to say because they're already living their happily ever after Growing up with my brother, Daryl, was something special to me. He was a role model. I remember he introduced me to breakdancing, DJing, <laughs> and Pedro. <laughs> and most importantly, Bella. In all seriousness, deep down, Daryl is a kind, hardworking, and helpful older brother. He helped guide me along my career path of becoming a director and filmmaker. Then came Judy. Doesn't she look stunning tonight? Let's give her a hand. Who knew you would end up with my toothpick brother? But thank God, I'm happy that you did. Now he looks a lot healthier and just full and bundle of joy. I know you and Daryl were meant to be and I couldn't be happier that you are now part of my family. Have you come here freely and without res reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your life? We will. 
will you accept you have accepted lovingly from God children and bring them up together to the law of Christ in his church with you I Daryl I Daryl take you Judy take you Judy to be my wife to be my wife I promise to be true to you I promise to be true to you in good times in good times and in bad times in sickness in sickness and in health I will love you I will love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life Take you, Daryl. Take you, Daryl. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You're beautiful. It's nice to see. I wasn't looking for anyone to be you with me. Didn't they? You would leave this place for so long I forgot about your brooding stare So much to talk about But you sit there and don't have much to say When you were far away I planned for this By the power visited on me in me by our almighty God I hereby pronounce you husband and wife Daryl, you may now kiss the bride, your wife. about being right. Being right is insignificant compared with being happy. In other words, sometimes we get caught up in doing something, going somewhere, or becoming the person we want to be. We do these things because we all have a purpose in life. But at the end of the day, we are meant to be happy. And seeing you, Judy, Hazel, and Aiden moving forward, I wish you guys a lifetime of happiness. Bridal party, um, you guys did a uh, superb job today. A lot better than yesterday. <laughs> and also, I'd like to say thank you for Judy for coming in on time today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd also like to say uh, thank you to my parents. Um, thank you for uh, being supportive and ensuring a better future for me and my family. 
I'd also like to say thank you for being the uh, fuel, for being my fuel to be successful in life. You guys came to this country with barely anything, and now you guys uh, are living the American dream. Thank you for uh, being a positive role model for me. Also, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Judy's parents. Where are you guys at? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Cineroso. That's right. Thank you for everything. I'd like to say thank you for accepting me and your family. Thank you for all the support that you guys have given me, especially with Hazel and Aiden. I'd also like to especially thank you to Mama Ida for introducing what is called Palawak. <laughs> Your Palawak is by far the best that I've ever tasted. <laughs> and thank you for Mama and Tatung for bringing Judy into this world. You have raised a very strong and tough woman. And like what they say, behind every man's success is a strong woman. I'd like to say thank you to my wife for being there when I needed you the most. Thank you for keeping up with me through all these years. I love you and your family very much. I look forward to raising our kids, or maybe even one more. <laughs> Together. Now today, in God's eyes, I can now officially say that you are my legal wife. I know I am known to have a two-word speech and start crying, but hopefully not this time. <laughs> I just want to thank all of our friends and family for taking the time from their busy lives to join us in this joyous occasion with us. <laughs> I, <laughs> I especially want to thank my mom and my sister. <laughs> putting up with me during times of stress and helping me get through the stress. <laughs> Thank you to Ella, Maria, Rochelle, Kuhn, Will, Mike, and Dominic for agreeing to be a part of our bio party and putting up with especially me. Thank you to everyone who agreed to be a part of our wedding entourage, our primary and secondary sponsors, Joy, Uncle Cliff, Pocho, Marion, who came all the way from Canada, Chanel, Noelle, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Stop. Coco, and Aria. I want to take my, I want to thank my family who came from Canada, California, Virginia, New York, New Jersey, and especially my friend Maria who came all the way from Indonesia just to come to my wedding. <laughs> I'm especially happy to have my kids, Hazel and Aiden, to be a part of this once-in-a-lifetime occasion with us. Finally, thank you to my husband, Daryl, for sticking with me and loving me. I'm looking forward to many more years together and our, with our kids. I love you. I love you.